I am a Linux noob and I set out to try six different base or independent Linux distros to see if I could get them installed and play a game with a controller. So far I have tried Solus, OpenSUSE, Debian 13, Arch and Void Linux. Go watch the others if you want to see how I got on with them. Today we are fighting the final boss. And no, it's not Gen 2, nor is it Slackware. They really are not for noobs. I have chosen NixOS. Now, you could argue this is not for noobs either, and you'd be right, but this is very different than the rest, and I wanted to give it a go. So, let's get on with it. So we're going to start off in Eventoy, and I have chosen the most recent NixOS graphical ISO, so let's get on with it. All right, do normal. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Oh, okay. No, we don't. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's quite new. 616, isn't that quite new? Oh, we'll do that. That's going to make things a lot easier, isn't it? In theory. No way. Oh, this is probably a live, live, uh, this is probably a live install then, isn't it? Sorry, this is probably a live disc. Oh, look at this. Uh, American English. No, we don't want that. British English. Okay. Oh, this looks very familiar. London. Yeah, we can do that. So UK, that's fine. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, name, just do that. Uh, password, we can do that. This is going to tell me off again, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what about that? What if we do that? No. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, let's do. Um, we'll do that instead. Which means they don't match. There we go. Uh, log up. We could do that, can't we? For this, literally, we can just use that, uh, and then we can do that, right? Because we don't, we, it's not, I'm not going to keep it. Right, okay, so we definitely want plasma, 100%. I'm loving the plas plasma. Oh, look at this. <gasps> I allow unfree, so I don't have to worry about that either. This might be easier than I thought. So we want, we don't want to replace that, because that's Windows. We want to do the 250 one, that's that one. We want to do erase disk. Do you want to swap this? No, we don't want that. That's fine. We can do that. That's perfect. Summary. Um, it's not very summary right now, I can tell you. Install. Holy crap. I thought this was going to be all command line. And I, in fact, I did actually set up some instructions. Like when did a little tiny bit of research and, and, and got some instructions on how to do things like connect to my Na NAS so I can grab the instructions from there. But this looks like it's a little bit easier. We shall see, as always. There's a manual there. Should we have a quick look at the manual? Or is that going to take me to the internet? Oh no, it's all local. Okay. Changing the config, upgrading it. So what's, what's the upgrade thing? So, Nix OS unstable. Wait, what? When you first install Nix, you will automatically subscribe to the Nix OS channel that corresponds to your installation source. For instance, if you installed from an ISO, you will be subscribed to that particular one. Ah, oh, okay. But you can add different, right, okay. So you can change your channels. Oh, there's Bleed and Edge, which is obviously the unstable. Ah, oh, okay. So how would you find out what the actual channel is? It's generally safe to switch back and forth between channels. The only exception is that newer Nix OS may also have newer Nix version, which may involve an upgrade of Nix's database schema. This cannot be undone easily, so in that case, you will not be able to go back to your original channel. Oh, you can set up automatic updates. So I don't, I don't think I need to worry about that, do I? Drivers, oh my God, it's all config based, isn't it? Now, I wonder if using KDE, you can grab things. The, the way that it works is you have a single config file, and rather than saying, can you install this? You have to build the system, telling it to install it as part of the system. So in the config file, you're telling it, I want Steam installed. And then, because at the moment, Steam isn't installed. So you tell the config file that you want Steam, and then you rebuild the system with Steam added, and it adds Steam. So it's not, it's not really installing like we're used to. And I think that was the thing that kind of drew me to this, is it is very different. What I found to be really interesting is that that means you can take that config file and stick it on a different computer and in theory it should work right okay where are we all done nick has been installed on your computer you may now restart into your new system or continue to use the nick's environment live environment you can change every setting later except bootloader okay so we do restart now done and then i'm gonna, oh, 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 i'm gonna hit the 
the keys actually because last time it went to windows i still don't know why it goes to green it's something to do with my capture card what have i done there we go oh so it would have done it anyway it would have gone to the right place cool so let's go f10 exit okay so i wonder how easy is it going to be to access my nas not sure if i've mentioned it but i love kde right so we've got dolphin there we go huh so if we go to all right it's future mo here i spent the next 10 minutes trying to connect to my nas and i sort of realized later on that that wasn't part of the test so i don't want to include that in this video because it's not consistent with the rest of them so i've cut that bit out and we're going to pick up uh, where we start actually using the system all right scrap that then um no idea why that's not working but i have now got everything set up on my mac so i can follow the instructions so the first thing we need to do apparently is upgrade the system so we do that by going nix os dash rebuild switch and then upgrade error oh i forgot to do the pseudo bit don't tell anyone there we go oh it's doing stuff right okay no idea what it just did but it just did something uh now have we got k right on it i don't think we have have we we've got kate i was really disappointed to hear that it's called kate and it's not called carte and then we want to do setra nixo s and then the config file okay that's very small let's see if we can fix that oh i'm missing my tiling manager again right okay so i need to add some lines apparently but i don't think i need to do that so is the audio working so i don't need to do anything with audio do i because it looks like that's actually working okay i mean i can't hear it because i don't have audio through the capture card but so i don't need to worry about audio um so we need to find well we, we enabled unfree huh so it's telling me to allow steam and firmware non-free software but i think we're okay there maybe i don't know right okay let's try something so allow steam so can i find anything on here so if we go allow unfree packages it's true okay so that's good and then we got amd stuff in here okay so we don't have amd so where would we put that so would we put that at the bottom uh list services that you want to enable um install so what we'll do then did you read the comment wait hang on wait what environment packages with packages uh, got a user account there okay uh, enable well okay so i think what i'm going to do oh that's got this well i'm going to stick it under here list packages installed in system but i'm just going to put something i'm just going to drop something in here and then call it mo's i'm just going to call it mo mo stuff and then we're going to put in hardware uh open gl enable equals true and then we've got um hardware open that's a comma don't want to put that in there open gl uh, dri support equal true make sure i put the uh, thing in there and then just go open gl dot dr support okay and then we've got that again and then dri support uh 32 bit equals true so that's apparently uh, enables the graphics for oh, hang on, there's, there's some more oh my god there's some more okay so we'll do that again but this time it is extra packages equals with pack which is not sure how this is supposed to look i'm wondering if i'm if i do that and then put mesa oh don't caps mesa nope spell it right mesa dot drivers and then vulcan loader uh, vulcan tools i don't think that needs to be comma separated does it and vulcan validation layers and then that and then that i'm hoping that syntax is right i'm not sure if it is to be honest i mean i could look further up i suppose if there's any others that do a similar thing right okay so it does embed it there embed that's not the word i was looking for is it no i'm not sure about this is it supposed to be blue is it supposed to be a space after that no and that doesn't look right to me okay well could that all be on one line do you think? and then we've got opengl extra packages 32 equals with packages driver i686 linux dot mesa and then that oh man the problem is i don't know if this is going to work so i'm wondering if i put just put in there uh, programs steam 
dot enable equals true and then programs dot game mode enable equals true Vulcan tools oh wait hang on oh hang on here we go uh, environment with uh, system pack so this is what uh, okay so then we go from here so we've got dolphin mango hud proton art dash qt Vulcan tools should be a dash in there I'm hoping it would say error at line whatever and then we've got uh, PCI tools or oh, utils utils and then USB utils and then it says fast fetch as well so we'll, tr we'll try that and it's talking about controller and Bluetooth but I want to do Bluetooth so then it's got hang on that's that done and then we'll go underneath there I oh, know we'll go back up to most stuff and then put so it says users dot users dot mo dot extra groups input will no I don't want it. I don't want, I don't want that that's for Bluetooth apparently okay so if we go save now, if this works I'd be I'm gonna be very very surprised so then it says to do Nix OS rebuild switch and reboot so it's telling me this and so let me just shrink that down a bit so I evaluate the config first which is cool error the option hardware open jar does not exist definition values in the uh, attribute does not uh, options okay error hardware okay evaluating that option hardware so everything else so can I just type reboot on this one like a Canon yes I can now I don't know if it applies the rest of it or the whole config has to work I'm kind of assuming the whole config will have to work in order for it to oh wait what was that that seemed like it was an old version okay yeah so I set it so you don't need a password okay it's, it hasn't done anything has it I'm very sure it has that right okay cool oh wait what's that say the program steam is not in your path not gonna get it from here no it's, it's not worked is it the program steam is not in your path you can make it available in an ephemeral shell by typing that okay right okay this is going to be a bit harder than I thought so what is that error that's coming up now couldn't load pipe by library couldn't okay so it's these three let me comment those out and then we'll just close that off or we'll just minimize it for now I commented it out why is it still showing oh there's one there look okay so we'll save that oh so it's saying OCI utils what's OCI utils so I put that in there oh maybe it, so what line was it at 128 okay that's going to say no isn't it that's done it error calling blah 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 okay so we'll try that again now I wonder if it'll fail at 129 now <gasps> it's doing stuff An asset failure whatever that means it didn't error on proton qt either did it no so we should have that and we should have lutris as well okay so then if we go and do upgrade okay and then we're just going to reboot going to let it run through this time here we go oh wait what linux 617 huh now i'm, I'm not confident this is going to work let's see wait what i'm still not confident it's going to work because of the controller stuff out of curiosity is it in here oh it it is it's all there i mean it is it's all there right let's get logged in then Oh my god it's working it's working it's working i'm still not convinced though right let's go and install our game of choice which is machina install install why are you at zero have we actually got access to the internet oh we have okay so it's not there. oh here we go that's going pretty slow so if we go to here uh, um open a new window no way i couldn't get that to work on the last one add version install let's go right okay so we're going to close that now close that minimize that play that it's not that it, it what controller 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 i bet it doesn't work oh my god stop the clock stop the clock it works 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we defeated the final boss. And actually, that kind of... I mean, yeah, it's complicated. You've got to learn the config syntax, haven't you, basically? And you've got to know what the program names are and things like that. But that's working fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Well, so <laughs> there you go. So that's six linux distros that i've tried as a noob and the only challenge was to get it installed get steam up and running and play a game with a controller and yeah i honestly thought i was not going to be successful with this one but yeah that seems to have just worked um, now there is no audio but the reason for that is because the audio is not coming through my card so i think that's the only reason there's not audio it seems to be working on the system itself because last time it was just uh you had next next to it, it just wasn't working so there you go so thank you so much everybody who have been watching and supporting the videos for this series i am going to do another series where i dive into the various different gaming specific distributions so if you're interested in that then please feel free to drop a subscribe so you get to see when they go live if you have made it this far you are freaking awesome and i really appreciate you thank you so much for your support thanks for watching you guys take care and i will catch you in the next one